Hi everybody. Uh, in this lesson, I will talk about uh, multi-line text input in React Native uh, as is this example. Uh, so let's start with the previous lesson. We have uh, uh, a text input for email and for password. And in this lesson, I will add more. Add a multi-line text here. And so you add a text input to here and you can use the same syntax as the previous text input. Uh, we have the high is bigger. The high is about 100 pixel. And we also have marking padding, but we have a multi-line props. The multi-line prop is true means that you can add more line to here. Uh, for example, you can add uh, two and three line to here separated by uh, the return key. So you can also add uh, the bottom color. Uh, by the border, we have the bottom color width, and you can set it separately using this. So if you want to set the left and the right, you do the same using border left color and width. And uh, you can also use the uh, um, border right, the same as border left. So we have a three uh, border. Uh, so it is very easy when you want to customize your uh, text input and you can set the editable uh, edit, Editable is four means that you cannot edit uh, But you can select you can select uh, to copy and paste to uh, uh, Another text input and if it is editable you can type to it and the keyboard will show for you and the auto focus uh, autofocus is true means that when you uh, refresh uh, your application, it will uh, point uh, uh, to this or uh, autofocus when you start your application. Uh, so you can uh, move this code line to, uh, for example, for uh, the password. Uh, so if it is set true, then you uh, re reload. Then you see that it will point to this or auto focus uh, to the password text input. Okay, uh, so it is a uh, uh, auto focus. And uh, the next prop you can use the uh, on text chains. Uh, on text chain mean uh, you copy this and do the similar to the previous lesson, and you want to save to the state the type description means that when you uh, type to test here it will save to uh, the variable or the property the variable type uh, description of the state uh, so uh, if you want to change this button uh, you can use uh, uh, the prop uh, the prop or the property of return key type uh, is done you can change this to done and what about the done? You can see in the documentation, we have done, we have Go, we have Google, Yahoo, yes. And uh, this is user for both iOS and Android and some uh, property user for iOS only, for Android only. Then you reload the application. So you can see that it is a done button. So. Uh, if you press to the done, you want to dismiss the keyboard uh, or how can you do this? You can use uh, on submit uh, editing. On submit editing means that uh, uh, when you press this uh, button, this done, uh, it will dismiss the keyboard. So you have to import the keyboard to here and then call uh, this using keyboard uh, dot uh, dismiss or the uh, static uh, static uh, function of keyboard dismiss to dismiss the keyboard okay and you can done to dismiss and point okay and what about the keyboard I will tell you detail about keyboard later uh, but now you can change uh, for example change the Google it can change to uh, search button yes uh, so uh, let the uh, by to done okay and what about the keyboard I will uh, talk about the keyboard here so firstly we have a two function 
win a mount and uh, win a mount. This is called when the components, when the React Native component is uh, mount or unmount or dismiss uh, the component. So it will go into this function. Uh, so you can add some of the uh, initializing for keyboard this so listener uh, and you can also add listener uh, means that the even the even is that when uh, the keyboard has some of the default uh, even for example keyboard this so or the keyboard so then it will go into this function uh, and this is also an arrow function it is called when uh, the keyboard so then you have to implement this uh, you can uh, uh, print to the screen or you can set uh, the state you can change the state of your uh, of your main component so uh, inside the set state uh, you know that we have for the previous state and the uh, new state so uh, uh, the new state here what is this the new state here you can change uh, the type of test you use the type of test to uh, display to use that the keyboard is so or is hide so um, uh, after unmount the uh, component the, the, the app component you have to remove uh, this listener then reload okay then I click to here you see that the keyboard is shown uh, to change it means that when you change the state uh, and own the component depending on the state will be changed accordingly Mm, so you do the similarly with uh, uh, from the keyboard to so listener to the keyboard to high listener and uh, the listener here will be changed this is the system uh, listener so you uh, have to write the correct text here keyboard did high or keyboard to show uh, so it will show uh, change the text uh, type of test and you have to remove the listener when you are uh, unmount or uh, you remove the components okay so after running this uh, reload you see uh, that when you press to this to show a uh, keyboard is so and here a keyboard is hide and it's very convenient uh, thank you very much for watching this lesson uh, this lesson, uh, lesson is end today. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or uh, get the code from GitHub.